Hey guys, welcome back to another episode at Coinverse and in today's episode, we are going to talk about one of the most important applications in the Web3 ecosystem. We are going to talk about wallets and the wallet in particular we are going to talk about is the Avana wallet. So the Avana wallet is based on the Solana blockchain and since it is based on the Solana network, it is already better than the other wallets which are based on the Ethereum blockchain. The reason is Solana is based on proof of stake principle while Ethereum is based on proof of work principle. So to put it in perspective, it will mean lower transaction times as well as lower transaction fees. So if we have to put things in perspective on the Solana network, it will cost less than $0.01 on an average per transaction while on the Ethereum or maybe even Bitcoin, it will cost $2 or $1.8 respectively. Also on the Solana network, it will result into 10 seconds to complete a transaction which is way, way, way faster than the already existing traditional system. While Ethereum will require about 5 minutes and if it is Bitcoin, it will even require 30 to 60 minutes. So the Solana network is much more efficient than the Ethereum network or other proof of work based networks. And that is why OpenSea, which is the NFT marketplace, is also considering launching Solana NFTs. It has already launched it in the beta program and it will probably grow in that section as well. So throughout my research, what I have realized is that Avana wallet has all the features of the famous Solana based wallets like the Phantom wallet. But what separates it apart is the unique features which are unique to Avana wallet. So basically, if you ask me personally, I would consider Avana wallet as a wallet. I would consider it as a bank. It allows me to swap tokens instantly. It allows me to stake tokens instantly. It has a section where I can store NFT collection. It has two-factor authentication. It has also cloud encryption where they store our own private keys. So the account is secure. Also, it is a non-custodial wallet, so the private keys are not stored at Avana. Those are personally stored at ourselves. The Avana can't unencrypt the data which is stored on the cloud if we opt for that option. Also, it has a verification tag feature which allows us to verify if we are sending the money or the currency to the right account or not. So as you can see, I am on the Avana wallet website and the we website is designed pretty well. It is properly segregated in downloads, documents, support sections. And if you go to the docs, uh, there is a quick start guide, installation guide of the wallet right from creation of the account to conducting a transaction of NFT as well. I will uh, give you a tutorial of how to do that in this uh, later part of this video as well. So if you scroll through this website, you will be able to see all the features the Avana wallet is uh, able to do. So there is one feature that you will be able to see the live market data of the coins. So let's just suppose you are uh, planning to invest in the Solana token. You will be able to see per data, uh, per day data, per week data, or even the per year data of the coin, of the value of the coin over the period of, uh, of your choice. So you will be able to make a wise decision. This feature is definitely unique to Avana Wallet. Also, one of the other feature is that if you already are a customer, of a phantom wallet you already have a phantom account you can migrate that account to avana wallet i will give you a tutorial of how to do that in the later part of this video but if you scroll below we will see other features and you can see that you can add this wallet as an extension to these browsers that is chrome firefox brave as well as edge i have already added this as a extension on my edge browser and uh, you can see there is a logo up here so if you click on the logo up here you will be uh, the Avana wallet interface will open up and you can create as well as import your earlier account. So for importing, you will require that 12 word seed phrase which uh, the Avana wallet generates while creation of the account. So uh, for creation, you just have to create and you, this is the secret phrase which you have to store locally. This is a non-custodial wallet. So this phrase or even the private key is not stored by the Avana itself. I have already created my account, so I'm not going to generate uh, another account for myself, but you can do that. And uh, there is a password which you are going to use for logging in this account. Now, as you can see, I'm on my Chrome and I have already added Avana as an extension. 
So uh, for signing in to the Avana, you just have to put the login password, which we used for creation of the account. Uh, it is not asking me the password because I just signed up into this account and uh, that is why it is not asking me password. It will show you the available funds in the basic currency value. You can change this basic currency from dollars to any other currency, any other fiat as well as cryptocurrency uh, through the settings section. As well as if you click on any token, you will be able to see the live charts, that is the price charts over the past 365 days or even 3 years or even 24 hours depending upon your need and hence you, it will help you to make the right uh, decision of investment. You can actually swap your tokens as well. So if you go to the manage section of the of the Avana wallet, you will be able to see other additional features like sending, swapping and staking. If you click on staking, there is a you are able to stake your soul with Marinade. Uh, maybe I will make another video on this. If you want it, put it in the comment section and I will start working on it. And these are the other DeFi applications which Avana team has already verified. So if you click on them, you will see the legit links which you can use to go to those uh, links of the DeFi application. There is also NFT collection uh, section where you will see able to see uh, your NFTs stored in this wallet. But for importing the Phantom wallet, all you have to do is go to the top right corner and click on import. You can create multiple accounts in the same wallet. The creation of the account is very easy. As uh, earlier indicated, you just have to save your seed phrase, put in your login password, and that's about it. You will have an account ready. As you can see, I have three accounts ready in the Avana wallet. For importing the Phantom wallet, you just have to click on import, and there are two options. You can use the recovery freeze of the Phantom wallet or the private key of the Phantom wallet. I'm going to use the private key. So for getting the private key, you, what you have to do is just go to your Phantom wallet. Uh, Phantom Wallet uh, has been used by many throughout the years and uh, it's uh, since it is now compatible with Avana Wallet, it's, uh, it's easier for the OG investors because they will be easily able to migrate their funds and still as use their funds from the Phantom Wallet with the new exciting features of the Avana Wallet. As you can see in the Phantom Wallet, there is a red dot at the top right corner which indicates that it is not currently linked or connected to the Avana Wallet. To connect it to that, just go to the sec uh, settings section and go to export private key or show secret recovery freeze, any whatever you prefer, but none of them should be shared with anybody. These are your private keys. If you share them, there is a possibility that you uh, might lose all your funds. So uh, that is why I will also be blurring the private key, which uh, I will show you right now. You just have to put your login password and after that, they will, it will display the private key, which I have obviously blurred. Copy that private key and again open your Avana wallet. After opening the Avana wallet, as I earlier indicated, you just have to go to the top right section, go to the import section, go to the private key since I'm using the private key, paste the private key and click on validate. After clicking on validation, you will see the public address which the private key resembles and you just have to click import. And after doing that, the phantom account will automatically get imported into your Avana wallet and see the process was so super simple and then you will be easily able to see the funds uh, getting reflected in your Avana wallet as well. Now how, how to actually mint an NFT? The process is far simpler than any other process uh, which I have dealt with personally. So uh, it is in a step by step manner, you have to connect your wallet, add the file, add the metadata and that's it, you, uh, and you just have to mint it. For adding, you just have to click over here and it will automatically detect the amount, uh, the type of wallet which you have. I have already linked my Avana wallet. Uh, so you can just click on the Avana wallet and it will get automatically linked. And after doing that, you just have to add the file. So after, uh, I will put the file to be my Coinverse logo. Coinverse, uh, if you guys don't know, it's our website name as well as our YouTube name. Do consider subscribing to our channel as well as visiting our website which is right over here. You will be able to learn much more about uh, NFTs, cryptos and new projects which are launching. Uh, so after doing that, you just have to add the metadata. For now, I'm just going to put Coinverse uh, symbol to be coin. A description to be the best NFT out there because why not? Collection will also be called as Coinverse Collection. And uh, you can see, uh, uh, select the other attributes, which if you want, I'm not going to do that because I don't really need it. 
the royalty is already set at 3 percentage but you can modify it i'm going to put it to be 10 percentage not 100 and with the amount of supply of the nfts which you are going to allow and that's about it it will indicate the balance uh, through the connected wallet and it will indicate the charge which you will incur uh, after min uh, for minting the wallet. This charge is for storing purposes as well as for transactional purposes. It is fairly low if we compare to the other uh, Ethereum based uh, marketplaces which will be charged to you. So after doing that you just have to mint NFT and uh, it will ask you for uh, approval because I haven't turned, down the, uh, turned on the auto sign in feature just of yet. As you can see, there is verified by Avana here indicated, which states that this site is legit and it can be a, a huge assurance for the user as well. This type of feature is not generally available in other wallets and uh, for me personally, I am uh, I'm thankful for this feature because Avana team on the back end verifies this website that web this website is legit and uh, we as users don't have to go through the tedious process of doing that and I will just uh, approve the NFT. And after doing that, the NFT will be minted and it will be available in my wallet now as an NFT collection. So let's just check it out. So as you can see, the NFT is minted. This is the mint address. This is the transaction confirmation. And uh, maybe if I go to my Avana wallet, I will be able to see it in my NFT collection if I'm not wrong. Yes, you can see it. I just click on it and uh, if I'm not wrong, that is my... NFT. I can easily sell it, view it and whatever I want to do, I can do that. So that's about it from my side guys. If you like it, like this video, let me know by liking this video, subscribe to the channel. Also put your comments in the description box so that uh, uh, if you have any other suggestions, we can actually go through them and make it happen. If you have any more suggestions on what type of video we can make in the future, let us know. I might consider making a video on a staking through Avana or exploring other options of Avana as well. If you want that, uh, put that in the comment section as well and uh, I, will get st I will start working on it as well. So that's it about from my side. Thank you.